Mike's Daily Podcast. Episode 439. It's Saturday, January 5th, 2013, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Internet talk radio for your imagination. Mike Matthews broadcasting from the last place on earth located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, California. Today we hear from Madame Rutabaga, Valentino, Bison, Bentley. Plus, we bring you the segment Mike's Cassette Cubbyhole, where we laugh at how lame computers used to be. Mike's Daily Podcast. Speaking of computers, HBO is going to shoot a pilot that is a comedy. Mike's Daily Podcast. That has to do with Silicon Valley and it's going to be directed by Mike Judge of Beavis and Butthead and King of the Hill. Hopefully it won't be like that Bravo reality TV show that was a bunch of swells. It got bad ratings. Meanwhile, Gerard Depardieu, the French actor, is going to Russia and is having a personal meeting with Vladimir Putin. He's getting citizenship and a passport from the president. Mike's Daily Podcast. He did this because France is taxing people that make a lot of money like Gerard Depardieu. What an ailment. Mike's. So Gerard Depardieu Daily was in Graydon Card Podcast. with Andy McDowell. Do you remember that movie? Yeah. Green card it was so artsy. Oh, look who just walked in. Hello, Michael Masters. This is Madame Blue. Acquaintance before God. Ruta Baker. Okay, I don't even know if that was a name. You're Madame Ruta Vega. Yes, Michael Masu. And don't sing Old Lang Syne anymore. We're already into the new year, okay? You can forget about that song. For another year. It's almost as bad as singing a Christmas carol right now. Sorry. Well, you're forgiven. Thank you. And I used to date Gerard Depardieu. You did? That doesn't surprise me. Yes, Michael Matthew. We used to take plane trips together all the time. And he would never go to the bathroom in the bathroom. Yes, I heard that about him. He tends to, uh, as the French say, make a pee. Um, but not in the... Bathroom. I think he w- was protesting something. His the way he was being treated in first class. They didn't bring him a hot enough filet mignon or something like that. Michael Masu, it is pronounced filet mignon. Um, I don't think so. But look who else just walked in. Hello, oh, dear Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? I do know that. Good, because it's hard for me to talk like this. Do you know that? I don't think you can get much higher. I don't think I can either. Mike, you're torturing the poor guy, day. Yeah, so Silicon Valley, you're going to watch a sitcom about Silicon Valley? Personally, Mike, I'm tired of sitcoms. Oftentimes, the humor is really bad, and they have a laugh track. Yeah, laugh tracks are stupid. Do you know that? <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. It, was, it wasn't that funny. For gosh sakes. You know, it's interesting that a lot of sitcoms don't have laugh tracks these days. They've kind of done away with them. Filmed in front of a live audience is no more. Whatever, Mike. I think they should do a comedy about Gerard de Perdue going to Russia and then staying there. Ah, that'd be a great one. Do you know that? I wonder if anybody is going to move from America to Russia to avoid the higher taxes now after the... Fiscal cliff abatement. Michael Matthew, I would fly there as long as I could pee in the air. I think Gerard got you into a bad habit. I want to change my name to Gerard Pepparbu. I like the name Gerard de Parblah. Uh, I'll just call you Gerard 1 and 2. De Pardu. And you can tell me if you love Gerard or even know who the heck he is. Or if you love that Mike Judge is directing a new sitcom about Silicon Valley for HBO or whatever may cross your mind. You can email me, Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. Also email me there if you'd like to be a guest on the show or if you'd like to sponsor the show. We have an available spot for you. Email me, Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. We also have a wondrous website, Mike's Daily Podcast.com. Go there to find out where to subscribe to the show in iTunes and find out our Facebook page, where to find us on Twitter, Yelp, and YouTube, as well as old interviews we've done on this show and interesting bits of music that I have done. And also the Mike's Cassette Cubbyhole. We have past episodes of that. In fact, we got to get to a new Mike's Cassette Cubbyhole now. 
Mike's Daily Podcast.com. Mike's Cassette Comedy Award. So in 2004, I had been doing the show, The Santa Fe Cafe, for 10 years. And we started doing the show as more of a talk show after 10 o'clock at night. We would have guests on and we'd have themed days. We had like Food Tuesday, we had Psychic Monday, and Funny Fridays where we'd have comedians on. But on Wednesdays, we would talk about the internet and the computers. And all of that. And we called it World Wide Web's Day. And a friend of mine named Jocelyn Warback, who now has a fantastic website where she covers all the local news in Ventura County called Ventura101.com. She was my co-host. And she had a bunch of tips, including I remember one time she gave me a piece of paper. And it was all the shortcuts that you can do on your computer uh, just by hitting certain keys like Control F. Five slash star asterisk whatever and you know that makes all of a sudden a cup of tea magically appear in front of you since uh, Windows 7 I think now that makes a whole British person making the tea appear in front of you it's fantastic how that's upgraded but in so in 2004 we recorded this particular World Wide Web's Day and some of the stuff is outdated I will tell you what has been outdated and what is still on the net after this replay on cassette of World Wide Web's Day with Jocelyn Rohrbach here on Mike's Cassette Cubbyhole. What is it? CreateBands.com Yeah. To begin, all you have to do is start by adding a musician. So click down here, add a musician right okay. here. Mm-hmm. And then you'll see the guitar, DJ, bass, whatever you want. Add a bass player. Rhythm guitar, keys, horns, miscellaneous. Oh, here's our band playing. They sound good. Got it. We figured out you have to hit the the button. play button. The play button. <laughs> I think you play better keyboard than she does. Oh, thanks. I just have no. to put my two cents. Well, in. you get to see them actually playing too on your computer screen. I know, isn't that cool? And the the guy, I guess he does have clothes on. He just had the bongos. Yeah, he moved a little. Yeah. yeah. Mhm. So this is our band. Benita's Jocelyn rocking. plays great music on the computer. <laughs> Benita the Rodeo Queen likes to punch me in the face. <laughs> I really hate that. So now I'm starting to bleed. <laughs> Tim McGraw back when, and he mentions in that street slang for dummies. Mm-hmm. You got something like that here tonight with us on World Wide Web Stay Cyber Insider Jocelyn, don't you? Yeah, you know, I know as parents sometimes out there, they just feel like they don't know what the heck their teen is saying to them because they're talking in so much slang for shizzle, you know? Oh, I <laughs> didn't bleep you in time. <laughs> That's not a bad word, actually. You would think it is, but if you're a parent and you don't know what your kid is saying half the time... It rhymes with pizzle. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't believe myself shizzle, in drizzle. <laughs> Well, you can go to this website. It's the surrealist.co.uk forward sl- slash slang, and it's basically the infinite teen slang dictionary search engine. You type in for drizzle shizzle, and it, it will tell you what the heck that means. It means... It's a rainy day today, <laughs> isn't it, Ludwig? Yes, it is, William. The rainiest day I can remember. I'm pretty sure that's not what it means. But parents, they want to be with in the loop. Fortnite. <laughs> what going? Nothing like four score and seven years ago. Okay, we're talking. It's Homer and March. Mm, you were looking for your parents? Is that what you were doing? <laughs> How are you, Marge? <laughs> Marge, she's taking you a question. Uh huh. Oh, I'm fine. We're getting over colds right now. Okay. The you whole are? world's getting over colds. Well, when you can't understand okay. what Bart is saying, I can't. T- 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 Bart! <laughs> and he doesn't listen to me. No but way! Bart uses a lot of slang, doesn't he, Homer? Who? <laughs> oh, he doesn't talk to the boy much anymore. <laughs> They've made so much money off this show that now they kind of keep away from each see, other. Money, no way. Do, man, money oh. separates people. I see it every day. <laughs> it's a sad thing. It is. I'm suing homie because I want his money. He's making <laughs> more than me. It's a man's world, Jocelyn. It is, Marge. We got to do something about that. Oh. Yeah, let's punch the men. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. It's not fair. Ow. <laughs> 
Uh, wow, that was Matrixy. And that is World Wide Web's Day with Jocelyn Rohrbach from almost 10 years ago as we go outside of the last place on Earth where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast. And it is interesting to note that createbands.com, the first website we were telling you about that allowed you to create bands, is gone. Absolutely gone. However, we do know that there was a little game called Guitar Hero and Rock Band that was basically the same thing, where you were a band in a virtual world on the screen there, and then you performed with your hardware, guitar, drums, and that was a big thing for a while, then kind of fizzled out. However, I have friends, as I've mentioned on this show, that still put on rock band parties, and they perform to songs on rock band, and they're still quite good, and all around the Bay Area, they do rock band nights and Guitar Hero Nights where people get together and still play that game. But it could kind of go back. You could trace its roots back to createbands.com. The surrealist.co.uk that was mentioned that had the understanding your kid slang, that website still exists, and it has a bunch of stuff on it, too, that is humor us. And once again, that's surrealist.co.uk. And every Wednesday, Jocelyn would look up and find interesting websites like those. And we would discuss those on the show World Wide Web's Day. But check out her website. She is very much still into the Internet. And her website having to do with Ventura County is called Ventura101.com. Covers Ventura County News. And here's today's podcast picture. The picture is a drawing as a cartoon of an adventure... With Valentino, the parking attendant, and I. Really, Mike? We had an adventure together today? Yeah, something happened to us, and I drew it. I haven't drawn it yet. I'm about to. But that will be the podcast picture. You can find it at mikesdailypodcast.com. I can't wait to see what I am involved in today. I hope it is something that my mother would be able to read today. Possibly. Okay, that's all I ask. She's a crazy lady with a good right hook. She's a pirate? No, that's not what I meant, Day. See, this kind of comedy would work great on a Silicon Valley sitcom that Mike Judge could direct. Maybe we would call it Startups. Oh, wait, no, that's what, that's the one that bombed on Bravo. Michael Master, we could call it Gerard Loves the Madame Rutabaga, starring Gerard Depardieu. Oh, interesting idea. Would you watch that, Bison Bentley? I would strap my television set to my head. Do you know that? I do know that would be painful. And a lot of optometrists might have problems with that. But tomorrow we will bring you the segment News Random. Plus we'll hear from Shelley Shuhart, Floyd the Floor Man, and John Deere the Engineer. Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikestvpodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.